This is to all you snowflakes. Watch and learn. watching this here is my environment today see that that used to be a tree that was a pain in my butt and I cut it down to about 15 feet tall and now I'm dragging it like a dead carcass back where I can burn it. That's what we call dominating my environment by force. You might be thinking of what use is dominating your environment by force. You might be thinking that. If you're a snowflake you probably are thinking that. Keep watching, you're gonna learn eventually. Don't give up. It gets harder. One thing a snowflake has trouble doing, peculiar to the species of snowflake, is learning. For some reason, snowflake. Snowflake cannot learn. It doesn't learn easy at all. See that? That's my environment too. You want to use another word for it? Territory. This here is my territory that I have staked out. This is where I take particular pride in dominating a territory because it's mine. I take it and I dominate it. Okay? I'm almost done. You still thinking I don't get it? She went through the doggy door. There's my grandchild. And her mommy. So snowflake, now we're going to explain it to you because you got a learning disability. Okay, snowflake. Here's what I'm talking about. 
you're looking at all this stuff on TV recently and radio and on the internet about certain people said to be abusive of people in their environment. Talk about men grabbing women, trying to get sex from them, trying to dominate them. Guess what? Look around you. Where do all those people come from and where do all those things come from that they have built? And then multiply all that they've built today that you can see and go back in your mind if you know any history. We didn't have chainsaws not that long ago, 100 years ago maybe. We didn't have vehicles until about a hundred years ago. And yet, this world that you see, as flawed as it is, was conquered by predators like me who took it upon themselves to provide for their loved ones, their dominated ones, if if you want to use your language. And that's how we got here. Now you all understand survival of the fittest, right? You got to at least have that in your head. Most of the stuff you spout depends on that theory, which isn't necessarily true, but it's useful. So if you, if you have any belief at all in the survival of the fittest, then this is what survival of the fittest is. It's predators using all of their gifts and attributes, whether they know where they come from or not. Mine come from God. But regardless of what, what you think the source of those, those abilities, those are harnessed and used by predators like me to control our environment. And I want you to think for a minute what your environment would be like without people like me securing that environment. Okay? <coughs> so before you get on your high horse and give your assent to the emasculation of the men in our world for doing what men do and have always done. I'm not saying everything a guy does is right. <coughs> but I am saying the drive in humans and in men in particular that causes them to bully and abuse people around them is the exact same attribute that allows good and kind-hearted predators like myself to achieve what they achieve. And you, you don't get to choose the gene pool. And even if you think you can do that through science or, or what other ideas you can come up with, you can forget it. It's, it's not going to work. This is how we're made. We live and die based on our ability to conquer our environment and dominate it in any way necessary, up to and including murder of other predators. Okay? Again, if you know your history, you'll know that's a fact. You're separated from your history because you live like a snowflake. You don't provide for yourself. You don't go and do military service for your country. You haven't been in places around the world like I have during my time in the Navy and saw how the world lives. 
so that I'm very thankful when I come back to the U.S. and I see what we have here. You find fault with all these things? I call them as blessings. That's what they are. They're blessings. Because the separation between me and what's out there that's not good for me is plentiful in this country. So, in most other countries, you'd have no snowflakes because they would be food for the other predators that don't care. The evil ones, the ones that just want to get over and get what they think they need and are entitled to. They're really snowflakes, just like you all, except they're willing to kill and maim. They have no problems doing that to get what they want. So keep that in mind, snowflake. You're either a predator near the top, surviving, or you're prey for other predators. That's the way it's always been, and that's the way it will always be. And there's nothing you can do to change it. No social justice warrior crap is going to change that. No amount of laws. I don't care if you give the government control over every facet of every person on earth. Okay? It's been proven over and over again. Again, back to your history. Man will not be enslaved by other men. Only for a time. That's just the way we're built. So Snowflake, I want you to think about that. Think hard.